Happy 4th of July, guys. Just down here. Weed whipping some of my uh, clover in the in the orchard here. So that's what it was. That's what I'm turning it into. Got clover planted underneath this rye. It's not growing the greatest, so I top seeded it, and I'm gonna just leave that rye stand and see if some more clover can take it this fall. So happy Fourth of July. Rain is on the horizon. Hey guys, just down at the orchard here. Um, I haven't done any videos in a while and figured I could throw something up. Um, a couple weeks ago, well, about a week ago, I came in here and weed whipped the orchard. It had, it wasn't as thick as that standing rye, but it had some standing rye in it and weeds going to seed. Um, so I came in with the, the weed whip and weed whipped it at about 10 inches high or so clover's really loving that I don't know there's tons of bees in here all you can hear is buzzing when you're down at clover head level um oh there's a monarch butterfly right by that tree there probably can't see it but um I am going to tie down some more branches I haven't done it in over a month now probably and a bunch of the stuff up t up high is kind of competing with the leader on some of these now like this one it's just like a big cluster up there so I'll probably maybe clip some of those top ones and pull some down um kind of an update I had three trees that looked rough coming through the winter um at the end there that enterprise this northwest greening and then over uh, in my, where I have some, some crab apples planted, uh, a chestnut. The chestnut ended up coming out of it. Um, this uh, Northwest Greening looks like, I, I cut off a ton of the dead stuff. Looks like it's coming through all right. Um, Enterprise down there looks like crap still. I don't know, I'd let it go. Um, I don't know if I'll cut it off at like a foot high or something and see if it does anything I don't know I might just leave it and if it wakes up next year I'll do something with it if it doesn't I'll put something else in its spot so yeah just kind of down here doing some stuff Arkansas black right there um, that has a bunch of fruit on it I thinned on um, that tree behind it you can't really tell you can see it back there um, it's loaded I'll walk over there this downed Macintosh or Paul Red has got a bunch of it, a bunch of them on it. Um, these older ones had heavy fruit last year and kind of got a, they usually are every year, but we had a late frost. I think they got some of them, but it has some apples up in there. Most of the apples are on the south, southeast side. I'm sorry, they're on the north north west side totally opposite and it could be because i have trees back behind there i've cut some out of there but there's still a bunch grandpa didn't put this orchard in the greatest place this one has a bunch of apples on it those are all paul red there and then this one is either i think it's harrelson my aunt thinks it's sweet 16. My goal is to find out, but there's probably more apples on this one than there is leaves. I've thinned it. I bet I thinned 60 fruit off of it or better, and it's probably going to need some more thinned off of it so they don't break. But yeah, just wanted to give you an update here. Things are looking good. I uh, stupidly left. Um, some apples on, I don't know, they're, it's, I, the labels fell off of them, um, of the three that were northwest, I'm sorry, uh, they were the varieties from the orchard in the northeast, I can't think of the name of it now, but, uh, Winter Hangover, Viola, and, uh, Winter Wildlife, so, this one, 
is one of them and then actually there's one over there that has an apple too um, and I planted one of them at my my uncle's this spring so I should I kind of let them go to fruit to see if I can figure out which ones are which um, but holy crap they're only four feet tall and they have that one wanted to have like I don't know I bet I plucked off 12 apples off of it and left two of them on there and I left one on that one plucked one or two off so good growers stuff in here looks pretty good I don't know what's going on there must have had some bug damage I don't know looks shitty though hmm. I think that one's a um Ah, uh, what is that crab? I don't want to dig, but I'm going to. Uh, it starts with an A, I think. Yup. Anaros. Anaros crab. I don't know you guys, or a bunch of you, on maybe it was the other forum. That was a slow grower. But yeah, it's hot, it sucks, but it's fun. Always have fun down here. It's Arkansas black or an easy apple to grow if you're looking for an apple to grow. I'm a zone 4B here. Oh, I should probably pluck that one off. Um, zone 4B. And Arkansas black girls really good here. I uh, have no complaints. One right near the top there, I should maybe pluck too. Eh, we'll see. I might do that later. Have a good one, guys.